Dreamweaver of the Halawasaponi Indian tribe had been dreaming of a marketplace where eastern woodland Indians could sell their artwork and display their ancient relics for all peoples to enjoy. All the tribes east of the Mississippi are called the Woodland Tribes, and we really don't have a market on the East Coast. So I partnered up with an organization at Waynesport Park, and we decided to develop it in Wayne County. Uh, Wayne County is the home, the old ancient home of the Tuscarora people, and there was no better place to have a resurrection than here. And then I was connected to ECU by Al D'Elia from the Eastern Region Development Corporation. And I gave the students, and basically the charge that I gave them was to give us a modern design based on ancient Indian philosophy. Dreamweaver taught the students about the history and culture of the Eastern Woodland Indians and he challenged the students and their teachers, Rebecca Sweet of East Carolina and Bill Hoffler of Pitt Community College, to express the Indian culture in imaginative designs for the 21st century. Each team explained their concepts and shared what they had learned about a culture that embodies the essence of sustainability and respect for the natural environment. The four buildings imagined by Dreamweaver will each have a distinct purpose. One will serve as a museum for antiquities, another will house an art studio and classrooms, a third will be a visitor's center, and the fourth will be a thriving marketplace for woodland Indian art. Dreamweaver selected the designs of Team Evergreen whom he praised for their team spirit and creativity. He promised Team Evergreen that he would build their designs on the original site of a Tuscarora Indian trading post in Wayne County, North Carolina. What began as a dream for one man will become a place of learning and cultural appreciation for all peoples. But even the most powerful dream cannot become reality without the knowledge to interpret and design spaces to meet human needs. Today's students are gaining this knowledge, but equally important, they are being prepared to be problem solvers with a strong sense of social responsibility. To Dreamweaver we say thank you for allowing us to grow along with your dream. We hope to meet you again soon at the First People Heritage Center in Wayne County, North Carolina.